Sometimes you just have to laugh at the situation. This ride was starting to feel like a boxing match and I was on the losing end. Whoever said fall is the best time to ride has never lived in Chicago. Days are shorter, the weather can change wildly from day to day. Rain, snow, freeze, thaw, it's hit or miss here. A deep freeze and snowstorm was coming and I needed to get my last few miles in before the bikes went into storage. I got word that conditions at Kickapoo State Recreation Area were good. Anyway, I was functioning on little sleep and had a granola bar and some coffee for breakfast. It was good to go. On top of that, I put on some miles the day before, so my legs were noodles. There are no fancy trail names here. They're all numbers. Numbers one through nine. Trails two through eight are interconnected. The total trail system is about 17 miles. Trail 2 starts with some climbing and is tight and twisty with a bit of a roller coaster vibe. I knew this was going to be a rough day as I watched Troy, the guy whose wheel I was trying to hold, leave me in his dust. You lose! Oh shoot, that's all right, man. That's pretty cool. Then save some energy. After two, there's one, two clicks. We're going up. Go. Pretty steep one, all right. Here we go. Fight! Wow, okay. Trail three is pretty cool with a dip into a big ravine followed by a steep climb out. Oh, wow. Right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> heard the man. He said, conserve your energy. Oh God. Clearly good advice is wasted on me. Yeah. <laughs> there were plenty of more steep climbs to come and this was going to be rough. Okay, now we The trail network in the beginning gives you a mix of uphills and small descents to keep you happy. I try to squeeze in rides wherever I can, but this time of year is bad for me. Work is busy. Kids have after school activities and the holidays of course give you plenty of opportunities to eat badly. I was only on the third trail in and I'm already exhausted. I'll give this round to Kickapoo. You lose! This trail system is one way and there's only one way out and that's going through the whole network. So I really had to do my best to power through it. We continued on to four, where we rode a really fun downhill section to this creek crossing. Oh. I'm obviously not on the trail at this point. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Baseball card. I snagged my wheel in a rut down right at the bottom, right before a steep climb called Heartbreak Hill. I'll spare you the agony of the rest of the slow, painful climb up. It's no secret I'm terrible at climbing. Oh man, I'm already worn out. You lose. Fight. Five felt a lot like familiar territory, twisty and undulating, very much like my favorite trails back home. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. All right, here we go. That's a steep one. Whoa, yes. 
Yeah, that was awesome. Let's say this round goes to me. A couple of loops off the main trails with actual names. Ooh. Playground <laughs> and Heaven and Hell. Oh, bad. <clears throat> oh, that was fun. <laughs> Can't even tell where the trail is. Fight! <sighs> there we go. All right. Playground starts with a short climb, which then descends yeah. through a series of small Ooh. tabletop jumps and finishes with a series of drops. There's one. Drops in the jumps looked to be mandatory from what I saw. I couldn't tell if there were ride-arounds as the trail was heavily covered in leaves. If you ride here, let me know in the comments if there is. Leaf cover was thick. I mean really, really thick. It was tough to get good speed for the jumps. It felt like I was riding on a blanket and I had no idea what was under the leaves on the landing. Uh oh, shoot. Come on. That's all. Nice. Small drops at the end were a ton of fun. <laughs> yes. Oh, you can. I you was win. Good. We continued back onto Trail Five. At some point, I had to stop and take in the scenery. It might sound hokey to some of you. Oh wow! But sometimes you need to stop and take in the scenery. Mind if I, I'm going to snap. I've been working a lot of hours, and despite my struggles with this I, ride, I was, I was really appreciating was, uh, everything about this. I was coming from. Uh, I was badly in need of a break. Yeah, yeah. Being on a bike, far from the headaches of everyday life, was nice. Right. The air was clean, oh, wow, and the okay. weather was perfect. Oh. <laughs> nice. Further up the trail, we ran into a local who suggested we give heaven and hell a shot yeah, if we wanted to test ourselves. Oh. Well, it'll take us back around and get back up. Down here. Okay, cool. I like the heaven part. I'm not sure I like the hell part. The, hell part is, the heaven's going down. The hell part's coming out. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Let's give it's it a awesome track. Beautiful scenery down there. Really? Okay. A couple of technical switchbacks. But... Ooh, all right. I'm going to take it. Be careful on this one. Yeah, you'll enjoy it. All right, perfect. Thank you. Fight. All right. Let's see if I can handle this. Oh, heaven yeah, part sounded me. great. Uh, the twisty right. steep downhill was something right up my alley. Don't look to the ha. edge. Or so I thought. <laughs> the hell oh, part man. was as you wow. might expect. A oh, steep, soul-destroying climb back out of the ravine. This is the heaven This part? is where I had my best and worst <laughs> moments. Feels more like the hell. First off, I don't know how to approach uh -oh, a steep downhill switchback. Right, I'm not ready for this. I don't know if it was fear, unfamiliarity, uh, exhaustion, or a combination of those factors. <laughs> Generally, I have no issues going down steeps. I've spent years oh. riding down steep vertical on my snowboard. <laughs> oh, this is so off camber. Oh! You know, one or two times through, I think kind of, I could probably yeah. go down, but. I think so. But. But it's cool. It's cool. Steep. But man, I'm telling you. Technical goodness. All right, all right, come on, baby. Come on, come on, modulate, modulate. Off camber. Stay out of the seat. This is too freaking. Oh, yes, this is cool. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, let's read it, read it, go. Pedal, 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 come on, come on, come on, there's no pedal. Oh, almost there. Holy crap. All right. Oh. Right. There's some serious GoPro effect on this section. Oh, shoot. I had to take a second Holy before letting off the brakes. Boy. I really have to take my word on this one. It was super steep. Oh. While I was busy oh marveling at this little downhill section, on, I didn't notice yes. the soul-crushing yes. climb waiting for me. Holy technical. Oh my god, it's the hardest shit I've ever ridden. <sighs> oh. Yes. Yes. I modulated heavy before oh letting off god. the brakes. Had I looked further ahead, I would have oh, seen no, it coming. There's hell. Oh god. 
gear. Gear, can we make it? Oh, hell no. Trail knowledge would have helped a lot. When I'm on an unfamiliar trail, I need to scan further ahead. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Surprisingly, the rest of the climb out of heaven and hell was actually enjoyable. Oh, off camera, don't look. Oh my God. Once past the wow. main descent and the steep climb, the trail got more flowy. The climb out was a series of steep switchbacks that I powered through, much to my surprise. You lose. After a quick moment to catch my breath, we continued on to Trail 6. Trail 6 was my kind of trail. It was fast and flowy, downhill, we made quick work of it. is another mostly downhill section with a few climbs in between. Another trail that was right up my alley. At this point in the ride, my legs decided they had enough. I'm not sure how both quads could cramp up at the same time, but they did. Ooh, ow. Oh. <sighs> I'm not part of this cramp. You got this. Oh, my legs. Oh, why two cramps? It's a good thing I didn't ride my hardtail oh, this day. As not I now. did this descent in the saddle with the seat all the way down. It was the only way I could keep my quads from cramping up. Oh, it totally ruined the descent. Starting to fall apart at this point, but I kept pushing as best as I could. And all I could do was just laugh. <laughs> you lose. Woo! I'm good. Fight! Oh man, this is beautiful. The leg cramp subsided, and we continued on to eight. Eight was another tight and twisty pedally trail that seemed perfectly mellow at first. Well, that's until the end where you're treated to three steep, rocky, oh. rooty climbs known as the Three yeah. Kings. Yeah, not if my legs weren't completely dead, walk this I feel like I would have had a chance here. Oh, man. Yeah, I wasn't no. having this climb. And when you see the approach, you can see the GoPro effect makes it look mellow. But as I get closer, you can tell how steep this thing is. Not today. Ooh, yes. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Third climb, I decided not to be a complete wuss and powered up it. Uh, come on, come on. Come on, you got that. There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh. The Three 
Kings came bearing the gift of a sweet, chunky oh, descent with a couple of steep switchbacks at the end. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, love it! Control, control. There we go. That switchback. Turns out I don't completely <laughs> suck at switchbacks. There we go. Despite that sweet finish on trail eight, I failed on two of the three kings. I think this round yeah. has to go to kick it. Oh, that's badass. You lose. Learn. I challenge yourself. <clears throat> After that sweet finish on eight, I was feeling good. I was at, uh... Number nine. Oh, there's a nine. Okay. No. Let's do it. Right. Yep, yep, What's yep. a cramp? It was time to shred. Right. Fight! There we go. Nine seemed pretty cool. Your typical Midwestern single track with a descent into a ravine and another mandatory climb back out. Love it. Easy peasy. This time I should be warmed up, should be able to power right back out of this one. There we go. Burn. Oh. You got this! Oh my god! Nope. The old legs oh, decided differently. Oh my god. This time the cramping was unbearable. Oh my god. I had to stop Fucking and let my muscles relax. They were completely dead. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Oh, I feel that to me. You feel it. Lose. Oh, I feel it now, actually. After a few minutes of hydrating and stretching my muscles, I continued to finish up trail nine. Oh, nice. Okay. Now I got something to work with. Easier on the body. Despite the rough ride, I jumped at the opportunity to hit one more trail before I left for the day. Trail 1 is an easy loop that's great for beginners and was a nice way to wind down our ride. Surprisingly, my legs didn't cramp up again. On top of that, I didn't feel any residual effects the next day. This ride challenged me in a few ways and gave me a different perspective on my ride. I have a long way to go to get where I want to be as a trail rider. In the coming months, I'll be working to improve my riding skills. Climbing is high on my list. Maybe I need to head to bigger mountains to push myself a little harder. This ride also highlighted the need for a few changes to my Jeff seat. I'll be doing some upgrades over the winter to improve the performance and the fit. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to keep up with my progress. The judges results are in. Kickapoo kicked my ass. You win this time, Kickapoo, but I'll be back, and I'll be ready next time. I hope you enjoyed this leg of my journey. Thanks for watching.